Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to go over how I take care of my cuticles. Um, I, my cuticles are really not in that good of shape. Um, I don't, I'm not as diligent about doing the things I know needs to be done for them. Um, give you a little bit of an up close. Now, these I have not done anything to. They're um, I just took my nail polish off. I've got uh, just nothing on them nothing nothing and um, these I have cleaned I have done my cuticle work they're a little shiny and this is my nail that I'm I'm healing um, and it does have some the redness is not from the healing it's um, a red polish that stained and I didn't want to do a lot of scrubbing um, around this little area right here that I'm working on um, I'm not really sure what happened with this but you know it is what it is. So today we're going to focus on this hand. This is my, you know, longer nails. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on uh, talking about what I use and what I do. So I use this Germanicure tool. It's a cuticle tool. On one end it's got a little pointy end and on the other it's kind of like a um, cuticle pusher. So what I normally do is, well I'm going to just do it on these that, that I can lay out flat. I just push the cuticle back with it and kind of run it around run it around that edge a little bit and then I take the pointy end and do a little bit of kind of filing because it is rough it's it's almost like a super fine emery board and I get up all that I can get up and I go around all the way around it then I run the pointy end kind of down the sides sidewalls and that is that so um, I'm gonna take a break and do the rest of these and I'll be right back I don't do this next step but maybe once a month and it's to use the Blue Cross cuticle remover and this is a huge container it's a 16 fluid ounce but I decan it into an old sesh feet bottle which I have labeled cuticle remover and I just find it easier to use it that way so I just go around the cuticle area. Now if you've got staining, you can go all over your nail. This does help also with staining. But I go around the cuticles, all of them, and just kind of put a little bit there. Then I move that out of my way. And I'm going to use this Curate. I will have, um, I believe there's a link down in the description box. If not, I will make sure there is one. But these are like little cups. It's got a tiny one on one end and a bigger one on the other end. And I just kind of go around the edge just to make sure any of that cuticle is buffed up. And as you can see, I am getting something off of there. Something else is coming up, more cuticle residue that, you know, has been there. And then I run the curate down the sides and across that top part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of the nails and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I want to show you how I clean this out. I normally do this under running water and I take a little toothpick and look at that funk. That was that was like cuticle cuticleness. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. But you can get most of it out with a toothpick and then I normally scrub mine with my nail brush and some soap and water. And it's the same on the other end. You can get the toothpick in the little end too. So that is that. Now I do not use these very often. These are my cuticle nippers. But occasionally I get really hard skin like right here, right on either side of my nail. Um, I don't have very much of it right now. Um, but what I do is I pull the skin back with my thumb and get in and just try to take little bitty nips. I don't, I'm not trying to make it perfect. I just want to get whatever's hard and catching on things, um, you know, to act right. I do not ever trim up here, ever. Uh, that's just a dangerous, dangerous area up there for me. But I will do like right here on the sides, on either side occasionally. Um, here, I might come to this one because this one's got just a little bit. Um, but that's that's all I do. I don't I don't go crazy on it. 
Um, the other thing I do when I'm doing like my nail maintenance is I've got some of this Baroness X and this is their uh, matte balm, cuticle balm. This one's called Pink Sugar and I guess it still smells like pink sugar but I've been using this forever. And I just take a little brush like this, one of these little elf brushes, and I just kind of go around. And I even do the nail, because I, I, I do like to pamper the nail bed, too. But um, this really does make the nail beds look, I mean, the nail, the skin around the nails look better. Let me find a spot. I'm going to zoom y'all in so you can see this. Well, maybe that's too much. But you can see how it's just, you know, it's cuticle. It's it's kind of funky looking. But I want you to see how it looks after it gets a little bit of this cuticle balm on it. It just makes it look so much better, so much healthier. And like I said, you can get it on your nail. I'm going to be washing my nails really well and scrubbing them with my nail brush before I do my repainting, my next Manny. But I do like to get down in there and all in that skin around the edge. And I do like to go in up under the nail also with it when I'm doing my maintenance. Now, I, I use this a lot when I remember to for uh, swatch photos because it makes the skin around the nails look, look more hydrated without looking greasy. I don't, I don't like my pictures to look you know, all funky and greasy and oiled up. Um, <clears throat> and that is it. And it's it's a big difference. I mean, just doing the cuticle, pushing back. I do have a little bit still up there. So, um, but it makes a big difference. I mean, they went from looking pretty ragged to looking pretty good. So, um, but that's all I do for when I'm you know, take my nail polish off before I reapply. Those are the products I use, the things I like to use. Um, I also like to use the sugar scrubs, you know, rub them into my nails and, you know, let that sit while I'm rubbing and rubbing and then rinse it off really well and use my little nail brush, scrub brush. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the only thing that I do like on a daily basis I try to remember to use cuticle oil just around and around and around. Um, I try to do that, you know, once once a day, twice a day, more if I can remember it. Um, I, I like the roller balls and the, the pins, but I also use like California Mango that's got the brush. A lot of a lot of the companies have, you know, theirs in a bottle with brush, but I go around at night. This is what I do right before I go to bed. I will go around them like that, and even up under, you know, let me go ahead and show you. I go up under, and I just rub it in, massage it in really well. And I've got a concoction mixture that I've made, and I've shown this on many of my videos before, like on my nail favorites, and some things just never change, y'all. I mean, I, I just use the same products over and over um, I do try new products, things things come to my attention, and, and I give them a shot, but there's some things that I just keep going back to, and I've got, I've got a little cup. I tell you what, let me go grab it, because y'all want to see, right? Okay, so I have this little tub from Lillian's Garden, and I used it all up, and it was a, um, like a hand cream, and it was something I got from Polish Pickup. It's a cute, cute little container. It's very little. Um, how many ounces, maybe, I don't know, I don't see it on here, but it's, it's just a good size little container, and this sits on my bed stand, but in the container now that I've used up all the Lillian's goodness, I use this J.R. Watkins hand cream, it comes in a 3.3 .3 ounce container, and then I also use Aquaphor, and this is 1.75 ounces. Now, one part Aquaphor to like three parts Jar Watkins. Um, this stuff is amazing. It really does help. And I used to do it differently. I used to like just put a glob on my nail like that. 
and I would kind of tap it and get some for all of the nails. And I would rub this in first. <laughs> but it's sticky. And I didn't want my fingers being sticky. So many of my friends here on YouTube had told me, well, why don't you, you know, mix it with something. So I started doing that, and I would rub that on first, and then I would put a little dollop of my J.R. Watkins, if I can get it to come out, like that. And then I would rub it in. I'm sorry I'm at off frame, but I just rubbed that in on top of everything. And amazingly enough, the combination of these two, it stops being so sticky with Within just a couple of minutes, it's um, it's it's all worked down in there, and it's so. It I mean, it's like wearing gloves on top of your hands. Um, and I do have some night gloves that sometimes when I really get crazy and slather on, what, like a bunch of stuff or thick. I will wear my little gloves, but that's really all I do for my cuticles. Um, I would love to hear what you guys do, what what products you're in love with as far as, you know, taking care of the skin and the nails and that sort of thing. I know we all have, and I have other products that I use too, but these are my ride or die ones. These are the ones that are always in rotation. Um, sometimes I use the California Mango mend. It's like a real thick, creamy, um, almost like a Vaseline type uh, texture to it. I've used that. I used the Soap and Glory hand food, the lotion that they have. And I just, you know, I, I do mix it up and bounce it around. Now, oh, before I forget, if you don't know, order stuff online and you don't do the Baroness X, you can get, there is a Burt's Bees, like, little cuticle cream and a little tin that is so similar to this that you wouldn't notice the difference. It's good stuff too. That sits on my desk at home, my computer desk, so in case I need something. So, um, but that is all I have for you today. I hope you found this, um, useful. <laughs> but, um, like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know the things that you use, that you love. I know all of us have different body chemistry, what works for one person, not necessarily for another. Um, some things work for almost everybody, so just let me know. You know, I love I love learning about things and, and you know, sharing and, and y'all sharing with me, so um, that's, that's part of why I do this. So I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.